welcome back to the Control Center. My name is Mike. Today we're going to be taking a look at the wonderful world of triplets. Using them in all different sorts of applications, different styles, different genres, different ways. And uh, take it away. Now first we have the classic sticking of right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. But we also have different derivations, including right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, as well as right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, and left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, and left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, and right, 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 Left, 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 left. Now with these two, remember, keep your hand nice and relaxed. You don't want to get too tense. Get a nice bounce feeling. Now we can start moving it around the kit. We can take our right hand and move it over to the ride symbol. And for this one, we're going to have the right, left, left combination. This is definitely a good one in a jazz context, jazz situation. Now we can add that bass drum on the downbeat have that line up with our ride cymbal and this is going to be the foundation of a new fill. You can see here my left foot's moving, just kind of keeping it there, anchoring it down. And now when we speed it up, it starts to make a little bit more sense. And remember, with these triplets, keep it grooving. Keep it swinging, keep it relaxed. So there we have it. One more take on the triplet. Now that's just one version. We can move that around, try different instrumentation, different tempos, different dynamics, explore a little while. So make sure to come back because we've got plenty more for you.